All right, so it is May 2nd, and let's start with Around the Horn. I'm gonna go Libby and then Nick, and then Carlos can jump in. All right, so what's hot? Um, I'm choreographing a tap piece on Thursday, so that's something that's hot, I guess. Um, something I appreciate honestly just the teamwork here <laughs> and like you know the communication here and everything like that that we're able to be such a great collaborative team I really I really love that um and then something that I'm focusing on the business I mean just making sure that I have I guess more consistent recruits trying to you know I mean of course I'm on the Google Voice now and looking at the emails so I can find more people to interview if you know they're not populating automatically. So things that are in my control. <laughs> awesome. I love that. Thank you. All right, Nick, you're up. Yeah, what's hot? Um, I mean, I guess family's in town, so I guess like out of business, like what's hot. Um, what I appreciate, well, I just appreciate life. That's really it. You know, I'm a very grateful person. And um, current focus for the business is really just building a championship team, learning as much as possible and just giving back to these people as to the best of my ability. You know, some, you know, you learn, you learn from some of those, you, you know, so that's really it. Just keep on learning. Awesome. Thank you, Carlos. So what's hot is that I have my final for my math class today. So that's awesome. Been studying for that. I um, also have my final uh, next week as well. And what do I appreciate? I appreciate, um, I, I do appreciate my mom. She had a great conversation with her this morning. And the current focus for the business is to get over 1K in LinkedIn messages sent out this week. So that's my current focus as well as uh, making sure that I'm getting the proper data and, and, and the right stats on, uh, on my LinkedIn sheet. So. Nice job. All right, we're gonna do some quick department updates. Uh, Carlos, these are just gonna be like three minutes. I kind of put an order of who's gonna go on what list. We had our one-on-ones yesterday, so we're just gonna fill in the team so everyone knows where everyone's at. All right, I'm gonna start, start with the call list automation. I had put a note in the all departments chat yesterday. Basically in order to make the buttons clickable, so a text or an email gets sent out, we would have to be individually populating in each row the Thinkific link, which just seems like it would take more time and there's got to be a smarter way. So I was thinking that maybe we create a system or I add on a step to what the VAs are currently doing with the Vector Live and Wix tabs so that they can also be including whoever's highlighted in yellow each day that they update it. What do you guys think? Snaps yes? Thumbs down now? Cool, cool, awesome. And then the SOPVA, this is a work in progress. This is a breathing document, as is the templates. So the more that we can update them, include them in, all of that kind of stuff, obviously every now and then there's going to be issues and miscommunications here and there, but the better that we can get and that the VAs can get at checking it every single day before a task is done, um, the more that we know we can be giving out correct information, right? So I have a couple looms that I might make today for the VAs just to kind of make sure that our automations are also in check so that we reduce the number of emails that are going out to people repetitively if not needed. Um, I also wanted to bring up something with Mike. So I wanted to, to just say that I'm not saying don't reach out to Mike 1000%. That is 1000% your prerogative. But I did want to bring up that Mike put each and every one of you guys here in this team. Like he does not do things like this unintentionally. Mike is a very strategic, intentional person. And he knows that each one of you have complete, complete ability to not only do the job, but absolutely excel. And <laughs> Nick, <laughs> I mean, I reach out to him every now and then. And he's like, Andy, your job is to be the fixer. I need you to go fix it. I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks for the instruction boss. Absolutely. Let me go do that next. Right. And if it's something that only Mike, like no other living person in this world can solve, but him, absolutely let's do it. But if not, then let's have a collaborative conversation first before reaching out to him and scheduling. Um, just because that's kind of what he put us all in place here to do is to give him that space, that time and to rely on each other. So 
Any comments, questions, concerns on that? Well, I'm going to cancel my call now. So you don't need to cancel your call. You don't need to cancel it. 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 That's it totally me. fine. It about me, wasn't it? I just, I no, I'm just saying that in general. I honestly, I had Libby and I had to have a call with Mike today, and I did not want to have a call with Mike today because I've told you I've reached out to Mike before every now and then. He's like, he'll ask me, Andy, what are some issues that you're having? Can I help? And I'll tell him. He's like, okay, fix it. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me go fix it now. Thanks, cool. Um, but there was one thing where only Mike is other than Eric. Maybe, maybe some dude from 2019 in the summer that I do not know. Mike was the only person who could get us access to one or two of the accounts. So unfortunately, Libby and I did need to get on that call because I need Libby to be able to check the Google Voice, the management email. And now we're going to go in and find a way so that Mike is not the only person and possibly Eric who can access these accounts because at some point we may all move into different positions or get replaced, right? So we're trying to, to minimize that. So Nick, I'm not saying don't reach out to him, have your call, do it. And honestly, I think he just loves talking to you in general. So absolutely do it. But moving forward, if there's anything that we can solve without him, I know that he would appreciate it. And also believe me, he checks our messages every single day. So if there is a topic that comes up more than once, um, he, he notices. All right, yeah, because I guess now looking at it, I could have asked um another manager, but I've asked another manager this question when it came to me running my own office and kind of got some like talks behind the back. So I guess I kind of didn't want to repeat that process. So that's why I scheduled. That's I don't not wanna... okay. I'm sorry. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not nothing like that. It's not to yeah. be like dramatic or anything. It's just that I just kind of wanted to hear it, like how exactly yeah. you would do it. Because I've heard this side. I've heard about this. This is the way you should do it heard this and I've heard this I've heard this and I just want to know like like an idea right of like I, it's hard to explain but that's no I I get it and mate it's totally possible that Mike is the only person who could help you with that and that's totally fine I'm not I'm not saying don't talk to him you know what I mean okay. um and I know that you as a manager you know what I mean moving forward I know that you're going to make it very comfortable for other people to collaborate and grow together and ask questions. And I think that that's really, really cool and so important because no one should ever feel that way. Like if you reach out to another manager or have questions about ways to better yourself or better the business, you know, you shouldn't ever be like, oh, well, that's not going to be a fun experience, right? Because that's what we're here to do is to grow and better ourselves and each other. That being said, that's all for my department. So Carlos, hit us with the LinkedIn. What are some some big things. I already know some of them because we did the one-on-one -on -one yesterday, um, but I, I want us to start kind of doing little quick updates each week just because if there's ways for you guys to help each other um, or us to back each other up as a team, I think it'd be good to do a quick overview for each person. Yeah, so uh, me and Andy had our had our one-on-one uh, -on -one last week um, and obviously yesterday, but we talked about the stats that I had last week. And one of the great things was that I did go over 250 LinkedIn messages sent out uh, last week, which is great. So this week, we're aiming to get to over uh, over 1K in the initial messages sent out, um, as well as many circle backs and pretty much getting more people into that funnel. Um, I also updated some, some uh, sheets on the Game Changer SLP VA worksheet. Um, ended up pretty much making it, making two types of schedules. Uh, one for uh, pretty much the VA to pretty much use accounts on specific days, as well as what schools to target on those specific days as well. Um, then as as well as what what else? What else? Um, I think that's it. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm overcomplicating it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, as of, as of that, um, also, just organizing the spreadsheet, uh, making sure that we're we're getting the best stats and the best data as well. So. Awesome, thank you. Um, Libby, you're next. All right, so from what you sent in the chat, so rescheduled for training this week. I was able to reschedule everyone for the Wednesday, Thursday <laughs> training, except for um one person who canceled. And then there was one person who was like, what? How dare you? You told me Thursday, Wednesday. And 
I, I just rescheduled him for next week. He, yeah, whatever. Now, if you look in Vector Live, it shows, <laughs> yeah, technically eight out of 10, but yeah, that's exciting. Um, If you look in Vector Live though, it looks like there's only five people set for training when there should be eight. I reached out to Karen yesterday saying, hey, remember to put these people into Vector Live. They're still not there. <laughs> I've been reminding her. I mean, I know she's new. I feel bad. If Karen is not, um, do you know how to do it? I know how to do it whenever it was like the old system. I am not familiar with the new way things have changed with Vector okay. Live. Nick, if you know how to do it, let me know. If not, Libby, I'm down to do a one-on-one -on -one and to, to help okay. troubleshoot it because we want our points. I talked to Carlos about this the other day. If, if, if it's like, we just didn't do our work, we don't deserve the points. But if the work is done, we deserve our points. That's 80%, guys. That's a B grade. We want our B. We should not take only, how many are in there right now? You said five are currently in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Five, okay. So we don't want our 50%, we want our 80%. So if you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me or something. Oh, Nick, Karen and I... <laughs> No, there we're talking at 1 a.m. last night. We we're talking at 6 a.m. this morning. So yeah, yeah, she's 12 hours ahead, but <laughs> but we might need to just go in and do it and figure it out. And honestly, that's a good time to just create a loom for it anyway. So yeah. Nice job with the 80% though. Nice job with the Thank eight you. out of 10. But yeah, definitely this needs to be resolved since training is tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So we do it today. All right, Nick, you're up. Yeah, so for me, it was really just making sure the calls are being made, right? Um, so making sure I'm just hitting my calls. I mean, and I'm, you know, I'm going to make it a standard, not really a, a goal and some video too, so you guys can, you know, I don't need to, anyone to hold me accountable to that. I'm, I told you I'm going to get it done, so it's going to get done. Um, and then what was it, the emails? Yeah, I sent emails yesterday. Essentially, it was just like added a template just um, saying like, hey, we like to partner with you. Here's a video of what we do. Essentially, the same email as last time um, to all the schools. Just uh, we'd like to partner with you. Um, I BCC'd it. So to whom it may concern, so I could just send them all at once. Um, not sure if you received the other email. And I just sent like all the requirements, like all that stuff from the website. And then just added in the little website at the bottom and said, this is the template we would like you to post. Right. Um, if you have any questions, reach out. That's essentially what it was. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the update. And then really just, um, I guess, with stats, with reps and stuff, um, I mean, just to be blunt, with a sharp rep we had, she ghosted a couple weeks ago, which it is what it is. She wasn't that communicative. So I didn't set that standard in the beginning. Um, another rep has his issues that I spoke about with Andy. Um, um, and I'm going to have a conversation with him shortly. And then, um, the rep we launched last week, right. She, she was great energy, but on my part, I didn't go, I didn't hop on zoom. Like I am with you guys. I didn't unmute her and hear her making the phone calls live because she was making a good amount of calls. So she made like 70 calls this weekend, 18 of them picked up. She only booked up eight. And out of those eight that did, she did book up six of them canceled she completed one and then the other one left halfway through the demo because he had something to do so i mean it's no wonder right and so she swore that she was reading it word for word but you can't just take people by their words you have to do that the reason why i'm telling you guys is that you're out in the open you know what's going on in my department with my section and um you know just lessons being learned there so we do a virtual training just making sure that like if they're going to hop on zoom, like, Oh, like where you're going to make calls. Let me hop on zoom with you for five minutes. Let me hear you make a couple calls, book them up. Right. And then you're good to go from there. Even if it's like with 20 reps, we'll say, if I have to do it with every single one of them, making sure I do it with every single one of them. Cause it's different in person where you can just say like, oh, no, say this, say this, versus like on zoom where it's like, you can't see what's going on when you're not on zoom. So just so be more responsible with that. So I tell you all that so you're in the loop with what's going on with my department and stuff we got going on there. So it's excited for this training class. Nice persistence and tenacity. We really appreciate it.
and we appreciate hearing about it. I'm excited to hear about how tomorrow goes. Um, oh, I wanted to say one more thing about the call list. So at some point we will have VAs doing it, um, but I, you know, Libby's already heard this today. I, right now it is actually really good feedback to hear like where they're running into issues. Um, there is one issue with Zapier that I've noticed every now and then it just like holds the zaps. So I'm going to like, it doesn't send out the emails, but it like collects them in like a queue. And so I'm going to talk to the V's about that today to see if um, I can't help figure out how to change that. But I think that those are the days just before the day that people are like, don't contact me. Why are you blowing me up? Because I think it's because every now and then it's been holding these up. So I'm going to talk to the VAs and figure out how to kind of troubleshoot that one. Um, yeah, that's it on that. Okay, so for next week, we had already gone over like our KRAs, right, together. And thank you guys. I think did each of you, I believe, posted your KRAs yesterday. Yeah, there we go. There's Nick, Carlos, Libby. Nice job, guys. So keep on doing those. Um, that's all I got for you. I can send out a little like Calendly poll. We want to try to figure out this escape room situation. It is not number one priority because I know everyone is kind of going crazy and busy right now. We have finals. The students have finals. We're like just hitting our busy season. Um, but since, you know, we said that we were going to talk about it, I'm happy to send out that poll, but also know that's not like additional pressure. It would be fun if it works out, but if not, we'll talk. I'll tell you what the poll results look like. So keep it anonymous. <laughs> Does anyone have anything else before we go for the day? No? Well, thank you guys. I appreciate your time and I hope you have a great rest of your day, okay? Take care, everyone. Bye.